Welcome guys to Isham C and this is Isham C's review and talk of the day about wrestling and wrestling and society and anything that's going on in wrestling. Now, this is my opinion, so if you don't like it, you don't have to watch the video, but just don't dislike the video just because you don't like it. I don't understand people like disliking videos just because they don't like it. If you don't like it, just don't watch it. You know what I'm saying? But guys, this is my opinion. My opinion is it's the same as the title. Will Roman Wayne <laughs> Will Roman Reigns win at WrestleMania 32? Now it's a lot of it's been a lot of speculation that he will win at WrestleMania 32, but that's not the case for me. I feel as if it will be just like last year. He'll be put into the top spot and then he will lose it all and go right back down. Believe that. But um, it's just gonna be like I believe it's gonna be like WrestleMania 31. Um, you know, there's gonna be a lot of uh, there's gonna be a twist to it. There's not gonna just be a straight win. Um, we thought it was gonna be a twist to it at Fastlane, but I think there was a reason why they did that. But at the same time, they could just turn him heel, turn Roman heel, turn Roman heel. Um, but yeah, uh, I think Roman Reigns will probably um, lose. Uh, he won't get the title. Um, <clears throat> would be crazy if Seth Rollins comes out and ruins him, ruins the chance for him to get the title. But I believe, uh, I think Dean might get involved into the match at WrestleMania. It could be um, someone can get him. Someone's gonna get involved because I don't feel as if Roman Reigns will walk out with the championship. There's there's no way in hell you can walk out with the championship and get booed so loud as you did before. This dude gets more booze than Batista. And Batista, my friend, got hella booze. Hella booze. Hella booze. Now, um, Roman just gets booed too much. Really, he gets booed to the top of the mountain. If you give the guy the title of WrestleMania, that would devalue everything you have worked for for WrestleMania. Literally, it would devalue every single match. Literally, you have, what, eight matches on the match card. Maybe even more. Maybe the pre-show matches. If Roman Reigns wins at WrestleMania, that will, that, will that will just make every single match not even be worth the watch. Because look, when Undertaker lost at WrestleMania 30, people stopped. People did not even go to the WWE Network to even watch the rest. The rest. I know a lot of people that didn't even get the chance chance to watch Daniel Bryan win the WWE title because they were pissed at WWE for making Undertaker lose. Now, in my opinion, yeah, I didn't even watch WrestleMania 30 um, on the network after. I watched the whole I watched the whole pay-per-view, but I didn't watch, I never watched it again. You can even ask my friend. I, start, I never watched WrestleMania 30 again because that pay-per-view, my friend, was, it was good until, you know, Undertaker lost. But we're not talking about Undertaker. We're just making a point. If you give Roman, if you give Roman Reigns a title, it will not. It will lead until so many, so much controversy, controversy that you know it was just like, I don't think he should get the title. The dude, dude doesn't have proper a proper gimmick. Doesn't have a good promo uh, ways of doing his promo. He 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 hasn't changed his look. Nothing. The dude is not fresh. The dude is not. He just he's just not crisp. He's not. He's not. Anything to be excited for him, like but like it's different with a Seth Rollins and Dean because like Seth Rollins and Dean changed their whole gimmick, but he kept he, he stayed the same, and that's one thing that bugs me. You know, if he would if he would just change his gimmick, turn heel, you know everything would be fine. I don't know what they're waiting for because Mr. Man needs to realize this guy, this guy you have right here, the guy that you want to be the top champion is not going to be the top guy or the top champion because. You're pushing him. You're pushing him to the moon, and people are, are not liking it. You get. You're feeding people Roman Reigns. People don't want Roman Reigns. We want Seth Rollins. We want Dean Ambrose. We want Kevin Owens. We want Finn Balor, Sami Zayn, all of that. We want all of them. But you're trying to push somebody that's not really good with the fans, not connecting with the fans. This guy right here, Roman Reigns, should be a mid carder. I love Roman Reigns to death. I love what he's doing with the company, but it's not progressing. You know what I'm saying? And for Shane McMahon to actually come out and say that he wants to be the runner of uh, Raw, that makes me uh, feel a lot better because he could probably change things to Roman. If Mr. Man would just get his head out his 
you know what then it'll be fine then we can have um we can have actually Triple H come in and fix things because I think Triple H sees what's going on but he can't do nothing about it what can you do because if Mr. Man's not listening to you what can you do um I don't know wait till he um retires I guess and we'll be after that but guys tell me what you think about this do you think Roman Reigns should get the title at Wrestlemania 32 or do you think Roman should just uh not get the title do you think it's gonna be a twist do you think just tell me what you think. I want to hear what you think about this because I, I might do another react, react video about it. But I say reaction, but I was about to do another video about it because I want to get you guys' opinion. But guys, leave a like, comment, subscribe, fish some CSI. I hope you guys enjoy. Peace.